Okay, I'm recording this. Uh, hello, this is a weekly meeting about the knowledge base and a whole bunch of other stuff, sometimes related to the knowledge base, sometimes not. Uh, and we can't ever think of a better name, so we just keep calling it that. So, um, stuff from last week. Um, we have this document uh, status page we need to flesh out. That's just an ongoing thing. Um, I will actually be adding some more to that later today because we are working on Firefox 21 updates. Something to note about that, Rosanna, I will um, email local locale leaders and post in the L10N group about two things today. So one is um, for, for mobile, it looks like for Android, there's no nothing to document for Firefox 21. For desktop, there are a few things, nothing huge, but they're not done yet and should be. Um, uh, and that's my fault, and I'll get that fixed up ASAP, um, but may not be before the weekend. Um, but there's an even more important thing to localize, um, uh, and that is this uh, Java article, which is now like number one with a bullet. And I'll <laughs> talk about that. Uh, we can talk about that uh, later. I'll, I'll explain what's going on with that article. Um, uh, so uh, anyway, so that's that. I'll put that all on that documentation status board page and email people about it. Um, the next item was Rosanna to announce we're setting up groups. I looked and actually you had actually already done that before the before we added that as an action item. So done. It was done before it was on the list. And then Roland sent me a list of uh, articles, Android articles with videos. So I will uh, I will work on getting those all on YouTube and replacing. Uh, the WebM versions with YouTube versions. Um, the next item Roland says is not done. He's adding it to his list to work on. Yeah. It's, I don't think it's like a, a, an emergency. Stop what you're doing and, you know. Well, we talked about all caps for work in progress, remember? Yeah. We all talked things about like things. that. Yeah. Um, um, so moving right along, I wanted to, uh, just point you to the work on the IA that's in progress. So there's a link to, um, a Google Docs spreadsheet that you should be able to view. Um, and the thing that you should be looking for is, let's see, so the first tab says task-based desktop v2 and to let you know what this is what this is about right so we're in the process this quarter of of um, making some changes to the information architecture where we put articles for the most part just in one topic or subtopic right so that we have um, and we have, you know, a, a kind of strict organization of topics and subtopics. Um, Brahms working on designs for um, what topic and subtopic pages will look like without a we'll get rid of the refine and focus thing on on the desktop view. Um, so. Um, we went through, or I, I went through with Susan's um, uh, original information architecture um, from last year, and basically it's like re-tagging uh, all the articles, although not actually doing it on the articles yet. We added some subtopics. Those are the ones that are like in pink, are new ones that we added so that we could break some of these long lists of articles up, especially under the fix crashing, slowness crashing, error messages, other problems topic. 
that's the one, like, if you go to it right now, there's a list of, like, you know, I don't know, some ungodly 80-something articles because it's just a bucket for problems, right? Here's a problem, here's a problem, here's a problem. Um, so we've broken that up with a lot of subtopics so that uh, you don't have these giant lists. They're more like lists of, you know, 10 things, which is way more manageable than um, uh, what we currently have. So I am working. Uh, you can see the next tab is says task-based Android. I just started this this morning. I didn't get very far. Uh, so I'm just working on doing the same thing with Android. Um, uh, I'm sure there are uh, like some subtopics here that won't be used. And we'll see if there's any that um, places where it looks like we need a different one. Um, I don't know yet. And what else did I want to say about that? Um, Ebuy, what did, did, so did we say uh, for the desktop, we can, are we ready to start actually re-tagging everything or do we want to wait uh, till we do the Android stuff uh, and do it all at once? I think that we, we're ready to go, uh, but I also see the benefit of having all everything and then just, and just do it, do it. On, on one sprint. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So soon, um, uh, yeah. there's hopefully there's, by the end of next week we're all set to right. to use the starter tagging. Cause the work that there is to do um, is to um, like create some new subtopics and make sure that there there's a clear if this is a subtopic it has this other topic as a parent uh, kind of thing and then there are there are topics to to get rid of um, like there's those things like. Um, there's a, just a topic that says flash, or there's one that just says diagnostics or something. We're, we'll get rid of yeah. all of those um, so that you don't accidentally put things into something that's not going to be shown on the website. Um, and then it'll be like a, like you said, like a sprint. We'll split up the articles um, and sit there and go click, 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 click for, you know, <laughs> an hour or two. <laughs> Yeah. and just re-tag everything. So uh, I, I told Kadir that, that I could do a script for that instead. If you have, if you have like, if you have it um, either by document ID or by locale or by slug, I could go through and clean up the topics with the script. Aha. And we could use that because you have the spreadsheet. So we could just convert that into a script. Really? That would be awesome. Because it's basically looping through all the documents and assigning the topic that you want to assign it. OK. And clearing the other ones. I mean, oh. it's less error prone, and it'll probably be like Faster. five minutes. Yeah. The, the less error prone factor, I think, is. is yeah. yeah. OK. So, so, so the thing to do then is to get document IDs attached to that. Yeah. Um, or it could just be the slug. I mean, yeah, if you put the document ID or the slug, either one. OK. <clears throat> it's fine. Or both, and then yeah. Because I have titles, but uh, so if you the yeah. exact titles, I can just run a script that grabs all, that gets all the IDs for you and puts those, it in the column. Yeah, those are. I mean, those are exact titles. I grab them okay. off the okay. list of articles. So let's try copy that. Copy and paste um, it. I'll try that. Awesome. Woo! That will save some monotony and some error-prone yeah. monotony. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything else about about this one, right one, now? One thing we want to do after that is lock it down so that not <clears throat> so that other people don't. The uh, I think the minimum amount of people that have access to change that the better. Right. So in yeah. our in our uh, KB uh, community roles thing that we outlined, we want to um, limit this permission to um, uh, um, product leads and and uh, to product leads, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. And higher. So only product leads will be able to change title, slug, and topics, and stuff like that, right? Yeah. 
Okay. The uh, okay. It's in that. It's in that. Uh, you know that list of like roles yeah. and permissions. It's there. Yep. Cool. Um. Let's see. So. The next section is actually what I was uh, hoping uh, we would have some people from user advocacy about. So I will talk to them separately since they're not here today. But basically, uh, Hot Topics, I think it's time that we can get rid of the re release notes off of Hot Topics. Um, I don't know of anything uh, in particular that needs to be added to Hot Topics. Um, but I just wanted to double check and I mean they haven't usually they'll say hey Michael we need to add this um, and they haven't so I'm assuming that there's nothing um, the quit article for Android I you're think we should you think we should remove but uh, we should double check with Tyler okay let's we'll double check I with Tyler my um, input I mean people complain about it but it's not like hey it's not gonna affect them like it doesn't cost data loss. Right. And B, the number of complaints is going down. Okay. I mean, it, it, for, for, because that's like, besides the release notes, that's the only one that's on mobile, right? On Android? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe it doesn't hurt to leave it there for a little while longer till, just to, uh, until the, the complaints, like, you know, I don't know. Well, they'll never go I, to zero. Because no, they'll people, never go to zero. But I would say, yeah, just check, check. I would just check with Tyler, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if, um, like, Tyler looks at beta, so maybe, I don't know, people are still complaining about him beta. I don't know. Released, it's dying down, but yeah. Okay, well, what, we can just leave it for now, for a week okay. or two, for next week. So, and then same thing about these, like, articles I listed here to archive. As I was going through articles in the IA, I found I was, like, looking at all these articles way down the bottom of the view list that are things that are, like, version-specific, like Tab Mix Plus, Firefox 18 crash thing, and they, they get very few views in the last month. Um, and they all should be uh, either fixed or not a problem anymore. Um, there's some things on here, like I found this one about this PDF files are, are blank and can't be downloaded on Mac. That issue really should be fixed, and it, gets, it got over 5,000 visits the last month, but it could be because that's also a, a, a possible issue with the built-in PDF viewer, and there's a section in that article, and I'm just wondering if this is like... Um, you know, a red herring, a something for people to click on, because it looks like the right article, uh, and maybe is not. So I'll I'll check with them also about that. That's my suspicion. Um, let's see. That brings me to. Uh, we, go ahead. We should archive that uh, the uh, article that I added, the twelve fifty four hits or whatever that twelve fifty four. The the. 18 crash issue yeah cool yep I, yep again that's uh, I would confirm that with Tyler right I'm, I'll go through and talk to Matt about these others I'll confirm with Tyler but the crash rate has gone down we have the lowest crash rate in 20 so um, as long as you've upgraded to 20 99% of people will not have a problem with this and in fact the article refers to 18 so if we don't take it down we should remove the reference to 18 and just say upgrade the latest version well, I mean, you can do that. You can change the art, like, change the content yeah. of the article to say "update to latest version." It's the most stable ever. <laughs> you know, yeah. like that's a good advertisement. Like, hey. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So ripping right through this stuff. So here's a cool uh, uh, thing about that Java article that I was talking about. So we have a Java article on hot topics, right? like how to activate Java if it's been uh, blocked or something. Um, and that gets a lot of views. It's like number five or uh, six or something on the like top articles list. Um, <clears throat> but um, all of a sudden, or over the last month, there's a, a new article that's like number one, and it's the 
use Java plugin to view interactive content on websites. And this is something I believe instigated by user advocacy that I had actually, uh, I had forgotten about until I saw it all the way up at the top again. And I was like, oh, I didn't, like it didn't it dawn on me that it would generate this much traffic. It's generating a huge amount of traffic. Um, so there was a bug, 847974, that um, said, we have this thing called the plugin finder service. So this works on Windows. When you go to um, a web page that uses a plugin that you don't have, you get this little notice that says, hey, you need a plugin to view this content. Would you like uh, to find uh, this plugin? Or I forget the wording, right? And it, what it usually does is in this case, if it's Java, it will take you to the Java download page and it'll say, you know, here you go, download Java. Um, so the bug is to, to point to the Sumo article instead uh, so that we can warn users about the forever and ever ongoing Java exploits and, and whatnot so people can be informed before they, before they decide to, yes, I do want to go install uh, Java on my computer, right? And so uh, what we found, if you click the, the, the second link there, um, it's got a huge number of views over the last few weeks, uh, the last month. And what's really nice about this is you can see all the links that are coming like all of these in product links, um, super low bounce rates and, and over, you know, three minutes uh, and more time spent on the article. Like people are actually reading this thing. Um, the top place that people go after this um, is, um, well, besides exiting, right, 69% uh, or 60 something percent uh, exit, go somewhere else. But after that, the other bunch that go is to the other Java article about how to activate Java if it's been blocked. Um, so pretty cool little bit of intervention to educate people about Java uh, before they go ahead and stick that thing on their computer. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome that we can do that. I'm so excited. Um, so that's everything. <laughs> so why do I do that? Anyway, that's everything on, on this list. I apologize for not sending this out ahead of time. It's only 24 after. Are there other things people want to talk about or, or, um, why we're all here? Um, I know I didn't give you the opportunity to add all this stuff ahead of time. Uh, No, no, awesome. So I have another meeting, so I'm biased. Okay, so ah. so Ricky, uh, uh, is there anything for me to do so that we can test that script, or can you can you work with the thing that's on that um, on that one uh, tab in the spreadsheet, the task based desktop v two, or does it need to be in another format, or what can I do uh, to help? So. I haven't looked at that spreadsheet confession, but um, we can figure that out later too, if you want to. Is it a is it um a Google Doc? Or yeah, what? it's a Google Doc. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll take a look and and see. So, um, are we ready to do this like soon, or you you have more work to do, or? Um, yeah. So we have a little bit more work to do. We've got a. We want to. Um, make sure that we have all the topics and subtopics configured, uh, that this is a subtopic of this, and these other topics that we're not gonna use, we get rid of. Um, and so I wanna finish the Android one before we do that. Um, but like Evi was saying, we could probably be ready to do this in the next week. Not okay. an emergency to do today or anything, we're not ready to do it today, but um, and we should probably yeah. right try it on stage first, just to be sure we don't blow something up. Or 
Yeah, that that's what we do. Okay. Um, so, I guess just let me know if there's something I can do to help make this uh, work. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll open up this thing now and take a look. Awesome. Uh, do am I is it public or do I need? Um, it is. You can view it. Share. If you need to edit okay. it, let me know. I can add you to the editor's list. So I think that's it. Thank you, everybody. You have an extra half hour. Yay. Yay.